Hi, Chris here from Dot Product for a quick tutorial on what to do when you lose tracking in Phi 3D. This is with your Dot Product DPI 8 or DPI 7 handheld 3D imager. And you can lose tracking when you move too quickly, trip, get too close to an object, or approach an area of low scene fitness, such as a white wall. There's a couple easy tips and tricks for how to maintain tracking best and what to do when you do lose tracking. So that's what I'm going to go through here as we scan a portion of this one bedroom apartment. So I hit start mapping and I start capturing green and yellow data. That April tag turns red because I am using April tags in the scene. And I'm going to slowly pan around capturing the green and yellow data. A couple of tips for maintaining tracking while you scan. First off, you want to stay between 3 and 6 feet of the target for the DPI-8 or between 2 and 5 for the DPI-8SR. Secondly, you want to move fairly slow while you're scanning. Third, you generally want to remain orthogonal to the target. And fourth, you want to watch the scene fitness bar on the right side of the screen. So that's telling me to slow down and showing low scene fitness as I pan into a blank space with low geometry. The scene fitness bar indicates how well it's tracking based on geometry. So also if I move in too close here, you'll see that bar drop down to zero and I will lose tracking. So the first step to regain tracking is to slowly back up to right where you were just before you lost it. So it worked out for me that time. However, that will not always be the case. So if I start collecting some more data here and then move quick and get too close to lose tracking again, now I'm a little bit further away and it's not finding itself immediately by pulling back to where I was. So what you do here is you pan back further, slowly, to somewhere where you knew you were getting good green data. So there you go. I was getting some good data back there. It found itself, and now I can slowly pan back to the area that I was trying to capture when I lost tracking. However, this again may not always be the case. So I'm going to pan back around here and move too quickly so that I lose tracking a third time. So this time, let's say that no matter how much I try and relocalize, I can't get the device to lock back into place. You see at the bottom it says you can add the map later via append, so I'm going to hit finish mapping, and that's what I'm going to do right now. So everything I've captured up until the point I lost tracking has still been saved, and I can actually append back into that data. It should also be noted that if you had just started your capture, barely gotten much data yet, then it might be easier just to restart from scratch. But if you have captured a good amount and you want to continue scanning where you left off, you're going to use the Append tab, which we will navigate to now. Within the Append tab, you'll see a selection of frames to choose from. You can disregard the red ones and select a frame where you think you can reposition the device. You want to look for good geometry, unique features, and a location that looks like it's nearby where you want to continue scanning. So for example, I'm going to select the couch right here. And notice I leave the box on the right unchecked to start a new scene. That's not the kind of append we're doing here. We're actually appending back into the same scene before optimization. So if I hit select to append, and the camera has a few seconds to warm up here, and then I hit start append. So you see this ghost image. I need to line it up with the couch. There we go. Now you see some light gray and light green data. This is everything we captured before, so nothing new yet until I pan into a new area. Now I'm adding data back into that first scene with all of the green and yellow you see that we're painting now. So again, this is for when you lose tracking and cannot relocalize naturally. And you go to the Append tab, select a frame, and then continue from where you left off. And that summarizes the three-step process when you lose tracking in Phi 3D. For more questions, please visit www.dotproduct3d.com.